Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And this is for anybody who is a published nonfiction author. Have you done, here's my question for you, have you done an audio book yet? If you answered no, you'll want to be listening because we're going to tell you how to do that, create audiobook awesomeness. And it really is easy. So if there's something you had a block there, whatever you think it might be. Oh, by the way, that's your voice recording your own audiobook. And we're going to talk about all of that today with a guy that coaches people on just that, creating audiobooks. Robert Lane from Robert Lane Coaching is back. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, it really is not as complicated uh, as it may seem for authors to record and narrate their own audiobook with the proper guidance. If you have the proper guidance, it's easy and you will sound professional. So we're going to talk about, uh, like you mentioned today, about audiobook awesomeness, how you can create audiobook awesomeness, and you can. The amazing thing is that you take care of everything. Really, the only thing the author essentially has to do, the work, if you will, the heavy lifting, read your book. That's yeah. it. <laughs> You've taken care of everything else, right? That's right. Um, the, the audiobook coaching program that I uh, teach is called Your Book, Your Voice. Again, you can go to Robert Land Coaching to find out more about that. Um, but it's basically divided up into three sections. The first is setup and preparation, how to get yourself not only uh, setting up your recording space, making sure it's comfortable, uh, but also mental preparation as well. And we talk a lot about that because mindset is key. Uh, and, and in the course, when you do enroll, uh, I do provide all the professional equipment for you. So there, there's no question of what do I need? Or how do I get it? Do I have to go to a studio, et cetera, et cetera. Now you record it in your own space. I send you the equipment. So that's, that's uh, part one. Part two is learning how to do a, a great narration, audio book narration techniques, um, voiceover techniques, things that you can do to be compelling, to sound natural, to sound conversational, and most importantly, to be your authentic self. That is key. And then the final phase is once you're done recording your audiobook, you have to have it edited because there's going to be noises and sounds and things uh, that may not sound quite right. And your audiobook has to be to the exact specifications for publication or it will be rejected. So part of the program is that's what I do. I take off the coaching hat, put on the uh, audio editor's hat and uh, clean up your audio, make sure it's to spec. And then uh, the final phase, of course, is getting you published. Uh, what I call the AAA, Audible, Amazon, Apple Books. Those are the three main distribution platforms you really have to be on. There are other platforms to be published on, which is great. Uh, if that fits for your marketing uh, and what you want to do with your goals uh, as an author, uh, some people want to be exclusive on those three. Some people want to be non-exclusive and just put it everywhere. Whatever works best for you. We talk about that in the, in the course as well. Uh, but you're guaranteed to be published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books, 100%. And if you're doing the work, uh, the, the program that I teach is a six-week program. But if you're doing the work and you know life happens, things happen, if it takes longer than six weeks, don't worry, I'm not dropping you off. I will work with you. My guarantee is I work with you until your audiobook is done, recorded, and uploaded for publishing. I want people to know that you can't just hire anybody to help you with your audiobook. So I'll say, yes, I, I personally have worked in broadcast since I was a kid. My thing, I love doing it. Don't hire me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I, I, <laughs> the narration. Okay. But you don't want somebody else reading your book. You want you to be reading your book short of that. Yeah. I know audio. I can edit things like that. I don't know what the specifications are. I don't know how to upload them to the, the, the big three can't help you. I really can't be very honest. And I'm bringing that up because I illustrate what most people would say in that arena. You want to get your book published, right? You got to have somebody that knows what they're doing in that regard. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I'm, I would, I would have no idea what to do. I would call Robert actually. If somebody came to me and they said, Hey, you know what? I want to record an audio book. Um, can you help me out with that? Yeah, I can't. He's the guy because he is the guy. I just want people to know that Robert. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Um, yeah. And it, you know, it's true. Uh, again, go to Robert link coaching. The step 
the simple step, all you need to do is you schedule a call with me. You know, book a call. Simple as that. We talk for 15, 20 minutes, figure out, you know, what your goals are, talk about your book. And uh, if what I do resonates with you, and hopefully it will, because, you know, having somebody there throughout the entire process will make your life so much easier when it comes to doing your audiobook. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we talk, we get you enrolled, you're in. Uh, it's that simple. So to create audiobook awesomeness, let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. First thing you want to do is set up your own recording space. And like I mentioned, no, I do provide the, the professional equipment for you. Um, so we talk about that and getting a setup uh, where you feel comfortable is key. Uh, put you know whether it's in your office or you have a room or the basement or I've had one guy uh, he had he had a big closet so he set up his computer in there and his mic and everything and it worked great he sounded fantastic but whatever is comfortable for you is key whatever uh, whatever place is not going to have a lot of distractions is also key uh, so as long as you feel comfortable and, and you have your setup again I take you through the steps of how to do that. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure that out on your own. Uh, and again, the mental side of it too. Are you in the right frame of mind to record your audiobook? Are you excited about it? Are you tapping into your core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place? You wanna tap into those feelings again. What was the driving force when you wrote your book in the first place? You want, you know, most people, nonfiction authors have an incredible story to tell, and they want to share this story because they know that they can help other people and people can benefit from their story. That, that seems to be one of the, the biggest core reasons of why people, uh, nonfiction authors, write their book. Uh, and or maybe memoirs and stories, you know, uh, but there's always something to learn and something for, for the reader to get out of it. So to take your book to the next level, you, as the author, 100% need to narrate your own book because it's your story. You wrote it, you lived it, you experienced it, you published it. It's your voice. Your voice is in your written word. So your voice needs to be literally your voice to tell the story because only you can speak that story the way you intended it to be heard. Again, mm -hmm. uh, narrators are great. And they're very professional and make sure, you know, like those who have narrated, especially people who write fiction books, you know, it's great to have a narrator because then you can do voices and characters and accents and all these things. So it's really great. Uh, but for a nonfiction author, you need to tell the story in your voice. Uh, some of the um, roadblocks, and it's a mental roadblock and it's a confidence thing. Again, talking about that, that the mindset is I don't feel like I have, have the voice to do it. I hate my voice. <laughs> I sound horrible or I, I'll never sound professional. That is a false belief and you need to crush that immediately because you do have the voice. When you're talking to your friends or family and you're telling your story or when you were talking about your book when you were writing it, that same energy and excitement is, this, is what you bring through when you do your, your narration. So you do have the skill to do it. And you will sound professional, and I 100% guarantee that because every author that I've worked with, when you listen to their audiobook, it's great. I am sucked into their story every time I listen to it, and I, you know, I'm listening to this all the time. But if you draw me in, you did your job, and you did you did it well. Mm -hmm. So it you have you have the ability to do it. Yeah, that I I can't imagine not hearing that author read their book for nonfiction. I just, yeah. it doesn't, how about this? What are some of the categories? And there's so many, so many nonfiction categories, but how about some that you've worked with, you know, be it health coach, diet coach, what are some of them? Yeah. Coaches, uh, coaches have written books. Uh, you definitely need to narrate your own book. Um, I worked with, uh, an author who, uh, shared her story of how she overcame cancer. And the way she told her story was so visual. When you're listening to it, I mean, your mind is like, you can see it, you know, the, the visualization aspect of it is just incredible. So she did a great job of writing and narrating her book. Mm. Uh, another author who I just, uh, uh, who's just got published, 
Um, his book was about, uh, uh, his book's called Fortunate Accidents. And he talks about things that, is, that had happened to him through his life uh, and mm -hmm. whether they were positive accidents or negative accidents, but he talks about it and he talks how he changed his approach on viewing everything that has happened in his life and how that led to something that improved his life, that, that even though something that may have been traumatic, you know, in hindsight, man, it really led him down a path that, that made him a hundred times better than wow. you know, now than what he was back then. So or a very inspiring story, you know, but again, uh, coaches, especially if you're, if you're a weight loss coach, a health coach, and you wrote a book, you definitely need to narrate that because that's your, your coaching program. It's your style of how you teach. And that's what draws your clients to you, to you and why they want to work with you. Uh, uh, poets, poets. I mean, how personal is that, right? If you're a poet, you really need to narrate your own book. Uh, if you write children's books, uh, that, that's another great thing uh, to be able to express in your unique style of telling that story. Absolutely, you should do that. And I know that, that some of these authors are like, well, you know, I have illustrations in my book. That's totally okay because when you narrate, you can also put a link uh, for supplemental material. You could put that link in your description of your book when it's published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books for people to click on it and get free resources. Here, you know, here are the pictures. Here's here's my study guide. Here's my how-to. Mm. Here's this. Here's that. I mean, I did that when I when I published my book, uh, Lights Action You. This is more of a career coaching book that I did, but I have a QR code in that book. I have uh, a link in that book that you can you know go to to get freebies and bonuses you know so so you can still provide uh everything that you have in your physical book you can still get that to your audiobook listeners so don't let that be something to hold you back so a couple of quick things uh with the author of the book about the accidents that weren't really accidents um yeah i, I kind of think that he believes things happen for a reason just saying um but I can't imagine him not reading that because it is so personal, those things that happened to him and how they they maybe needed to happen to him to shape his life and the journey that he's on or was on. So that's first yeah. off. Um, second off is the the coaching aspect. You hold everybody's hand right through the process, right from the beginning, right to the end, even hooking up the equipment. There, I don't think there's anything that, that no stone unturned. You take care of everything. I I want to come up and try to think of anything and everything possible to make the audiobook recording and publishing process as simple and easy as possible. My job as a coach is to remove the hassle, the overwhelm, the frustration, all of that, because, you know, people have tried to do it on their own and they get frustrated because there's a lot of moving parts and yep. it's easy to forget something or make a mistake or, you know, and even when you are recording your audiobook, I mean, come on, you're not going to read it all the way through and, and be perfect. You are going to make mistakes. And plus, it's divided up into sections anyway when you do your recording. But you're going to make mistakes. So it's great to have a safety net. It's great to have an accountability partner. And that's my job as a coach to be there, to be your encouragement, to be there to support you and to make sure that you stay on track uh, with your goals of getting this book done within the six week program. And you can do it. You absolutely can do it. But having that support system means means all the world. And this is what's really interesting. Like I have two. There's two ways you can sign up for the uh, your book, your voice, audiobook coaching program. One is uh, I call it the group greatness program, which is you know a group coaching program, and then there's the the VIP one on one coaching plan, which is you work with me one on one. And what's really interesting is more authors have gone the VIP one on one coaching route than the group route, and I, I find that kind of interesting. Mm. But you know, and, and there's a variety of reasons why, you know, some really have some confidence issues. You know, some have some people have a fear of public speaking, and that does bleed over into sure. recording your audiobook. So uh, but having that that support system and, and you know, and I, I 
obviously I can, every book that I work on, I treat it like as if it was my own, you know, so it's, it, you know, and I, I got perfectionism, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes a little too much, but, but that's because I care, you know, I care about your book and you're not going to get that. You're not going to get this type of coaching anywhere else, you know, especially with a big company that says, yeah, we'll do your audio book for you. And then you get what you get. And that's that. Yeah. And that's the way it should not be. You need to have a real Absolutely, Robert. Like think of all the time that somebody spends working on their book and then, you know, company takes it and doesn't give it TLC. There's errors in it. There's, you know, bad editing. Uh, potentially this could be, that doesn't happen with you. You comb through everything that anybody records to make it perfect. I want to bring up, well, it's actually a question. So you talked okay. before about somebody having illustrations, maybe even graphs in their book. Mm -hmm. When you do the audio version, can you refer to it, even though obviously we can't see it because it's the audio version at that moment, the audio book, um, but would somebody change their approach if they come across a graph and then rewrite it just for the audio book to say, um, on a graph, you can see that, and then what the what the information on the graph is. Would you, in other words, would you change it up for the audio book because you can't see the graph? Yes, yes, you can. And this is the other beautiful thing about an audio book. Okay, so you have your book, and obviously the the bulk of what you have in your book will be read pretty much verbatim. But you have the freedom to be able to express yourself in different ways to handle something like that, or even uh, when you do your opening credits. So opening credits, for example, you have to mm. do title, subtitle, who it's narrated by and who wrote the book. Those are those are the, the bare bones requirements for the opening credits audio file. So for me, I can be, I you know, like if you want to do verbatim, it's not going to sound good. Lights Action You, the guide to master your mindset, overcome work stress and regain your personal freedom. Written by Robert A. Lane. Narrated by Robert A. Lane. Mm, I'm a robot. You know, that's yeah, what right, it right, sounds right. like, right? Yeah. So you have the freedom to put your personality, your style, and you can change it up. It's something, you know, it could be like Lights Action You, the guide to master your mindset, overcome work stress, and regain your personal freedom. Written and narrated by yours truly, Robert A. Lane. Done. Yeah. So you have the freedom to to change it and make it into your own style. So, uh, you know, for those who you know, uh, I know that this is a podcast audio only as well. But for those who can see it, this you know, this is uh, my freebies and bonuses page, and there's that QR code that nice. you can scan. But for the audio book, I have a link, and I will literally read the link and then spell it out so that somebody listening, if they want these freebies and bonuses. They can write it down and then just go ahead and grab them. So yes, you have the freedom to do that. And I would imagine you could have fun with it too. Like going back to your example, reading the title of the book, and then you're going to say bye. And obviously you're going to say yourself, you could play with that and say, bye. The guy who writes some of the best books on the entire planet. Yeah, that would be me, Robert <laughs> Lane, you know, just whatever, but you could have fun if you want to, because it is your book, right? Yeah, you, you can do that. I mean, obviously, you know, you want to be true to, uh, you know, what, what you're writing in the book. But, but sure. see, that's the thing. It's like we talked about myths uh, on, our, on the last time we met. And one of the things is like people think that, oh, an audio book is an abridged version or a condensed version of the book. No, it's not. The authors are reading their book all the way through. You're not missing anything. A matter of fact, when you have the freedom to be able to do you know, uh, talk about your links or go here and, and you're going to get you know, some free materials because, you, you know, you bought my book and I want to give you something extra, you know, just mm -hmm. for doing that. You can say that. So you're getting you're getting everything that, that you have as an author across to your listeners and readers. I love it. Even I'm sure you could even promote and say while you're doing your audio book, uh, you start the book out. And of course, you would script it, but you could say, hey, I have some freebies for you just for you because you got my audio book and I'll tell you about those in a little while on to chapter one, then you go on to chapter one, whatever you want to the book. I'm sure you could do stuff like that, right? Yeah, there's, there's ways to do it. I mean, there's certain, um, 
guidelines that you need to follow. Okay. Especially for opening credits and, and closing credits and that, that kind of thing. But um, those are things that you can weave in and uh, they're not going to be rejected, you know? So, it's so cool. <laughs> it's yeah. like so exciting because it really is. When you wrote your book, you had a blank screen and, and you know, a paper you put in your printer was blank. Same thing here. It is the world is at your fingertips or at your mouth, really, where you can do basically whatever you'd like within the guidelines. And and I wouldn't know what the guidelines are. That's why there's you. That's why there's me. And that's why yeah. I love, you know, I love doing what I do. I love, I love coaching and helping, you know, all these authors create these incredible audiobooks and they sound so good, you know, and, and you know, being an audio guy as well. Um, you know, I love the editing process. Some people would find that incredibly tedious, but I don't. I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy going through it. It's like, oh, here's something that probably no one will ever hear. There's a little anomaly in, in, in the recording. It's like, that's coming out. That's all. <laughs> I hear it. So it bugs me. I'm, I'm thinking, of, but that's the care, you know, <laughs> that absolutely. I, I love doing it. You know, I love doing it. And, and just, when you have the final product done and that book gets published, I mean, the excitement that I see from those authors and they are so proud mm. of, of what they've accomplished as they should be because they did a great job. It's a big project and, and, and they did something that, that was just incredible. It's got to make you feel great, Robert, when you, you start with somebody who's a little apprehensive, not in, in your ability or your coaching, just them. Like, I, you know, that my voice doesn't sound good. Now I have to read this. I don't really know what I'm doing. To take them from that, maybe that meek author, as they start to do their audiobook, to the finished product where they sound like a superstar uh, with your help editing and coaching, uh, that's got to make you feel good, right? Oh, that that's my reward. You know, <laughs> it, really, it really is. You know, that... That makes what I do, uh, that gives me, that's my purpose, right? That's my purpose. It, sure. it gives me, it gives me that, that, that worthiness of, of being able to help somebody. And, and I, again, I don't mind going through the process of doing it. You know, their companies are like, they run it through some program. Oh, it'll clean it up and, you know, make it sound great. And you know what? You're going to miss something. You're going to miss something. You don't have the human touch. You don't have somebody really going through everything. And plus, when you record the audiobook, you're going to make mistakes. Everybody does. I did when I did mine, you know, but I teach them what to do while they're recording so that they don't have to stop, go back, you know, and break their flow. It's like you make a mistake, just say pick up continue, you know, go back to that sentence or phrase that you made a mistake and you continue on. And then me as the editor knows, oh, okay, it's a picked up, it's a pickup line. I, I know what I need to cut out and, you know, make it sound uh -huh. all great. Now, if somebody's just running this through a program, I hope they're catching all those pickups because <laughs> you sure don't want to publish that. <laughs> There's no, I don't see any feasible possible way having a knowledge of audio as well because you can't do it even right down to something that's going to clean it up in terms of the audio or what we call gating gating the background noise there's a threshold yeah. for that and if it's not set properly you're going to miss somebody says it you know a word that starts with a t like uh toy it's going to sound like oi because you can boy you're going to miss the the t at the beginning if it's not done properly yeah. and that's just a, a part of all of this uh can't it can't, i i i say it can't be done it can't be done right to get just some press a button, send it in there. You need the TLC. You need your ears and your expertise. Uh, how do we get it done to start the process? How do we find you, Robert? The simplest and easiest way is to go to robertlanecoaching.com. Uh, you'll see the information about the group program, the one-on-one -on -one program. I have testimonials up there. I have... Uh, audio samples up there so you can hear what other people have done in their audiobook. And and all you need to do, there's buttons all over the place about scheduling a call, book a call, let's talk. Click that button. It goes to my calendar. Book a call with me. You talk to me directly. And I want to talk with you first before I sign you up because I want to make sure that, you, that we're both on the same page, 
that, uh, you, that, you know, do you want to do the group program or do you want to do the one-on-one -on -one program? We talk about all these things. We talk about your marketing goals and everything that you want to do with your book. And then I get you enrolled. So book a call, simple. It's a simple step. I'm not going to, you know, force you to sign up. I want to work with you and I want us to have a relationship because that's what makes the program great is having a relationship where you know that you can work with somebody who who has your back mm -hmm. and that's what i'm there to do so robertlanecoaching.com book a call click that button schedule a call with me want to oh, exciting so you wrote the book you can you need an audio book if you look at the stats people are incredibly uh increasingly uh using audio books robert great having you here really appreciate it Oh, my pleasure. I love, love talking about it. And I look forward to talking to all you authors. <laughs> and I love your, your passion too. You plus he's a nice guy. Why wouldn't you want to work with him? He's fantastic. <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, we'll talk soon. Okay. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.